Today is about you. Who's today about? Who did from right here? Now go win some championships. What an energetic, pumped up way to start our convention. We show up in life, we show up in relationships, we show up to work in one of two ways. We either show up as Wonder Woman, I am Wonder Woman. Okay, if you're a dude, you can be Superman, all right? You don't have to be Wonder Woman. We show up either like that, as Superman or Wonder Woman, or we show up as Eeyore. So it's either this or this. Now I know it's the, you know, later in the day, it can't be floppy like this, it's gotta be really big, okay? You ready? On the count of three, adopt one of those two positions. One, two, three! Hold it, hold it. Okay, great photo op, thank you all, grab a seat. When I was looking for a speaker to speak on employee engagement, I came across Darren Martin and I was blown away by his presentation. He actually delivered more than he did when I was watching his online presentation. He customized to our event and it was amazing. I would absolutely recommend Darren Martin in the future. So we have a problem. I don't know if y'all heard the problem. Did their descriptions match? Okay, so who's right? This is America. They can't both be right. Who's right? Ashley or Susan? Who's right? Silly question, okay? How are they both right? Because they are looking from what? Different perspectives. Owners look for opportunities to understand the other person's position as well as they can see your own. Darren Martin is amazing. Um, what you predispose yourself to and decide you're going to see is what you see. So if you tell yourself a story that the world's a bad, scary you know, place, people are out to screw you over at every, at every turn, and if you're not careful, you know, people take advantage of you, what kind of people do you run into all the time? People who are going to screw you over at every turn. If you decide, on the other hand, it is a beautiful, glorious universe, everybody is together, everybody is committed to your success. If you'll just look for them and find them, what kind of people are you gonna see? Certainly people like that. I'm incredibly inspired by Darren's talk today. Even asked if we could bring him to the corporate office to speak to some of the managers and upper management. He does a great job of allowing you to understand the types of people that work in companies, those that bring it down and those that bring it up. And we all want to be those people that bring up our companies. You know, we have been afraid of the zombie apocalypse. We have all these movies about it. We don't have to fear it. It's already here. It's like present. Uh, very amusing. Uh, he's a great presenter. So when a zombie comes up against a chain link fence, does he go looking for wire cutters to figure out how to get through that fence, yes or no? Does he figure out a way to get around the fence, yes or no? No, what does he do? Keeps bumping up against that fence until hopefully he reaches critical mass and enough other zombies come along and they're able to just topple that fence right Dead. over. The typical engagement level at your, at, at your typical company is what percentage? 29%. Now, I think that is abysmal. I think that is ridiculous. It's like a six-string guitar with only two strings working. It's like a three-legged stool with only one leg. It's like a six-cylinder engine with only two cylinders. I can go on and on if y'all want to. You don't want employees. You want people who act like owners. Who would like a free copy of my book? Who wants a free copy of my book? Come on. Who? Really? 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 Sorry, you get bonus points for coming up on stage. Okay. Well, there were some people that were a lot closer, could have gotten here quicker. Uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> They went to the ball. Owners go to the ball. They don't wait for it to come to them. I mean, we stand out there so many times going, me, 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 pick me, pick me. And I'm just telling you, it's not gonna work that way. So a friend of mine said recently, quit waiting for your ship to come in. It's not gonna come in. You have to go build it. So, and whoever told us that lie years ago that good things come to those who wait, okay? Not true! Good things come to those who go out and make it happen. Very helpful. He's a great speaker, congenial. He, he does make us laugh and uh, 
shows us better how to work with each other to have better results. Owners master their thinking and emotions. So, do something real quick for me. Look around the room, see all the red in the room real quickly. All the red, all the red, find the red, find the red, find the red. Okay, close your eyes. Now, make a mental list of all the blue that you saw in the room. Okay, you can open your eyes. Not so easy, right? Why is that? Because what were you looking for? Red. There's this little thing, it's based on science. By the way, science is starting to back up all these crazy notions that we've had for a while about the way we operate. And what science is indicating, there's a little thing called the reticular activation system. And basically how the, that operates is that you see what you're looking for. So if you've ever had the experience, you buy a brand new Honda Accord or an F-150 or whatever it is, and you get out there and you start driving around, what do you see everywhere? Honda Accords, F-150s, okay? I came the other day, I wanted to go to the Super Dry store. I don't know why, it's one of my new favorite brands. And I was walking around the casino, victim of my own deal today. I was like, man, everybody's wearing Super Dry. I'm like, duh, you're about to teach on this stuff. No, there's probably a lot more polo walking around you. You just happen to notice every time somebody comes by with that. It's the same way with the way we view everything in life. He brings a variety of his culture and insight to every single one of our events and is an absolute pleasure of a person to deal with as well. So if you have any opportunity to bring Darren to one of your events, I'd highly recommend it. I've got my hand up, come on. Edward Dimming says nobody goes to work to do a bad job. People want to be successful. They want to be great. They want to shine. We've got to give them an environment to shine in. Okay. You've got to seed this into the population. When people start to get it and catch hold of it, light years. So do you want to make yourself indispensable to any company? Do you want to make yourself basically fired proof, okay? That if the doors are closing and the owner's walking out, you're the one going out with them. Take the ideas in here, some of those other resources I've mentioned, and make this your personal agenda. I am going to act like an owner. I'm going to be an owner. You want to transform a company? You want to see 30, 100% growth? It's not hard. You got 30% engagement level now. You start cranking those numbers up like Al Mulally did with Ford and some others. You get that up to 70%, 80%, and yes, I believe it's possible. 100% level of engagement, it'll change your company overnight. Aaron helped me and the leadership team change the trajectory of our company. I was asked to take over the CEO role from Babe Ruth, our founder, uh, the, best, the best in the business but I knew the company had to change and I didn't know how to get that done. Uh, Darren came in, worked with us uh, on a, pretty much a full-time basis for several months, helped us architect the cultural aspects of making that change. We popped out on the other side of it, a new reinvented, reinvigorated company and have since grown our revenues four times uh, in seven years. So we need more, more there. Uh, actually, praise God that I was in this workshop to hear such an incredible person, you know, so uniquely and specifically expressing himself. 